Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you today how to use uh, dynamic offset to build these shadow layers. Uh, very simple. It's going to be done in a program called Inkscape. Inkscape is an open source, free design program. Uh, there's a lot to it. It's a very complex program, but you don't need to learn everything. All you need to learn is the skill that you're trying to uh, use, which in this case is the dynamic offset. Very easy. Uh, so don't get intimidated by Inkscape, even though it's, like I said, it is a, it's a, a full suite of uh, design tools. You really only need to learn the tools that you need to use, and that part is easy. So let's get started. Uh, where you're going to get Inkscape from, if you're on Windows 10, it is in the Microsoft Store. It's a free app. Uh, otherwise, you can go to inkscape.org and you can download it there. So this obviously is design space here. Get rid of this so it's gone when we come back. Let's go over to Inkscape. I already have it pulled up. When you first go into Inkscape, a couple of things. All of these tools on the left-hand side are going to be very small. What you'll want to do to fix that, it's very simple. Go to Edit down to Preferences, click on Interface, and then slide over here to, it'll be over here, slide over here, and then it'll all be on, you'll see that it'll be smaller, smaller. Click it all on large, or I'm sorry, larger, 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 all three of them. Close that out, close Inkscape and reopen. The other thing, your workspace will be very small when you first open it. Uh, you'll want to go to just click the plus button, plus, 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 and that'll bring it up to size. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, over here on the left-hand side, you see the A. We'll click on that. That is your text tool. Go up to the top. That's where you'll select your font. I already have it on Snuggle Stitched. That is the font that we're going to be using. I will link that font in the description of the video. It's a great font. So once you have selected the A and then selected your font, click on your workspace and I'll type out hello. Okay. And now once that's typed out, again, over to the left, and then you see this arrow on the upper, upper left-hand side, that's your selector. So click on that. And now... That, that's just a selector, like I said. So now that'll move. Now I'm going to want to make this larger. To make it larger, you'll pull out from the corner. But while you're doing that, to keep it in proportion, you'll press Control and pull out at the corner. If you don't, it goes wonky. I'll show you. See, if you don't, it pulls it any which way. That's not what you want to do. So edit, undo. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to, with this selected, you have to make sure... If you don't have the correct, if you don't have the correct uh, button over here, so like if that is selected, it doesn't do the same thing. So you always need to make sure if you're ever having a problem and something that you're trying to do in Inkscape isn't working, the first thing to check is which of your tools is selected. So again, I'm going to click the selector and I'm going to select that. And now what I want to do is I want to go to edit, oops, edit. Duplicate, even though it doesn't look like it duplicated, it did. So move the second one to the side, okay? And with that selected, so that is already selected, you can see the arrows around it. I'm going to go to Path, and then I'm going to go down here to Dynamic Offset. Okay, so click on Dynamic Offset, and then do you see right here above this L here, see that tiny, tiny, tiny little dot? So hold your mouse over until you see it go blue and then left click and drag out and you can drag that out as much as you want your shadow to be. So that's how much I want this shadow to be. Okay. Now there's a couple of steps that you need to follow before you can move this into design space. Okay. So you need to first with this selected again, it's not right now. It's not selected right now. The edit paths by nodes is selected. So click on your selector and select that with it selected. You're going to go to path, 
object to path. And now you need to click edit paths by nodes. Okay. And you need to do that for both of these. So again, click your selector. Click this one. Path. Object to path. And with it still selected, edit paths to nodes. And you can tell that worked if you click off of it and then you click back on. See how it shows each of the nodes now? That's what you want, okay? So click off of it. Now go to File, Save As. Uh, I already have this set to save in uh, ABC as my Works in Progress folder. So just, you know, change it to wherever you want to save it to that you'll be able to access it in a minute. I'm going to name this Offset 10. Save as type. You're going to click on that and you're going to go to Plain SVG. Click Save. Okay, and now let's hop back over to, oops, that is not what you want. That's Corel Draw. So click back over to Design Space and now we'll go to Upload. Upload Image. Browse. Now mine is already set to ABC, but obviously you would navigate over here. And close offset 10. So that's okay. Continue. Save. Select. Insert. And over here you can go to ungroup. And then this will be one group. And this group you actually need to weld together because you can see that it broke it down by each letter. So weld that together. So now that's one solid. And you can take this and change the color just so that you can see. And there you go. That is how you build an offset. Very easy. And there's just an awful lot that you can do with an offset. So let's go ahead and try to center that a little bit better. So there you go. And that's really all there is to it. If you have any questions at all, uh, please either post them uh, below in the YouTube or um, if it's if it's uh, something in a group that is being posted in a group, you can post it in the questions on the group if I'm if I'm in that group. Uh, join me on Facebook. I'll link the groups that I manage, uh, the cricket groups at least that I manage uh, in the description. and. Um, Join me on Facebook. One of them is a group that I add my personal designs to uh, for other people to use. You can feel free to download the files there. Uh, all right. I guess that's it. Have a good day.